Just got off work. Got four days off, three days off, whatever. Got my side job. You know, I'm tired of making these videos just bitching, bitching, bitching about election fraud. You know what I'm starting to sound like? I'm starting to sound like an idiot protester. Okay. Now, I, 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 I'll say this. There's a lot more that we can do instead of sitting at a protest screaming at buildings for a couple hours and not getting anything done. Okay? I'll say that right now. You see what's happening in Arizona? They're getting something done. You're not going to make me fucking think that a candidate who hardly ever campaigned it's going to win over Kerry Lake. It ain't happening. Well, I found out some things about Arizona tonight. You heard this hype about the red wave, red wave, red wave. It happened. It did. It, the red wave came in. And the Democrats are struggling right now. We might have lost Michigan. I want to see the information from the tabulators. That's what I want to see. Even that, you know, they're saying now that Gretchen Whitmer got 2.4 million votes. But I want to see it from the tabulators. And then I'll accept it. But then again, we have so many stupid fucks in this damn state of Michigan. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, let's go back to Arizona, okay? From my understanding, there were some fraud votes happening. They did a little bit of an audit, and they took some votes away from Katie Hobbs. She's running for governor. I don't know if Kay, I don't think Carrie Lake's in the lead, but the Arizona state, uh, the, the, the governor race in Arizona hasn't been called, and it's looking good for Carrie Lake right now. From the last, I did my research. Unlike some people, they just Google stuff and, oh, I did research. I do, I, I go deeper than that. I actually got a couple of friends that were working as poll watchers here in Michigan. Okay. And they sent me over some text and some information about what the tabulators in the counties were reading. As of 7 a.m. this morning, putting Tudor Dixon three, four 400,000 ahead of Whitmer. This isn't coming from the fake media. This is coming from the tabulators. This is coming from the tabulators in the, uh, the counties. Okay? I don't even know if Tudor Dixon conceded yet or not. I hope, uh, hopefully not. She might. You're not gonna... I, I don't believe Christina Caramo would succeed. Matt DiPerno... I don't know, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Dixon did. But anyway, back to Arizona. It's looking good for Carrie Lake, I'll just put it that way. And then we got the Senate race, where they only need three. It's at 49 Republican, 48 Dems, Democratic, right now. Um... In order to work the filibuster, excuse me, in order to get rid of the filibuster, they got to have at least 52. And guess what? There's only three seats left for Senate. So the filibuster, so if they're not going to get enough seats, the Democrats are not going to get enough seats to kick out the filibuster. They're not going to get enough seats to pass the assault weapons ban. You understand about the assault weapons ban, how it passed the House? They, they waited on it. They waited on that bill 
They waited on that bill for a year and a half. They brought up that bill, I think, in 2020. Or maybe it was early 2021. Okay? And they waited on it. And they waited on it. They had to pass a couple of committees. They waited on it. They waited on it. They waited on it. They waited for the perfect storm. And all of a sudden, we had that mass shooting to happen in, uh, in, in Buffalo, New York. And then that was the perfect for them. Okay, let's bring up that bill. Let's work on everybody's emotions right now and bring up that bill. And boom, it passed the house. Because two piece of shit Republican House members voted yes on it. And one of them was from Buffalo. I forgot where the other one was from. Colorado or something, I can't remember. Maybe California. I think it was California. But anyway... But they've been sitting on that bill, and they're waiting for that. They were hoping to get enough. They could not. You see, they didn't pay. They didn't take it to the Senate floor. That bill, and there's a reason they didn't, because we had 50-50 in the Senate. Therefore, the filibuster is going to kick in. They need 52 in order for them to get that bill right past the Senate. 51 is not going to do it. The filibuster. But guess what? The Democrats ain't going to get 52. They're at 48 right now. There's only three more seats up for grabs right now. Arizona, Blake Masters versus Mark Kelly. Then you got Nevada, that Luke... What the hell was that guy's name? Luke something. I can't remember his fucking name. In Nevada. And that looks pretty good right now. And then we have Georgia. Oh, look what happened in Georgia. Hershey Walker versus Ralph Warnock. You see what happened in Georgia? They're calling a special fucking uh, runoff election December 2nd. Yeah. The Democrats fucked up. They found some more votes for uh, Hershey Walker. Huh? Oh no, it's going to put Hershey Walker ahead. What do we do? They're trying to pull a fast one. Well, we could do the runoff. That's why they're doing the runoff. They want to keep that fucking seat. And even if they do keep that fucking seat, it's not going to be enough. They need they need 52 to get past the filibuster. They ain't getting past the filibuster with 51. They're at 48 right now. There's only three seats. We might not get the Senate. But we can still tie it up, at least. And still fuck them in the ass. Now the House. Right now, 207. Dems got 186 or something like that. I think it was 186 last time I checked. 218 to win. We're 9 away. Or no, 207, 11. The projection's 222 to 213. We really need 11 seats. The Democrats need like 30 something, 33. Uh, fire and Nancy Pelosi is looking like a reality, and it's gonna happen. We're gonna get, we're gonna flip the house. So guess what? All we need is the fucking house. That's all we need. Because if we get enough fucking votes, we could bypass the Senate, and then we can impeach Joe Biden. And impeach Kamala Harris. Now, who are we going to make as Senate Majority Leader? Or, excuse me, head of the House. That's about this, what I'm about to say. Who are we going to make head of the House? I don't know about you, but I'd love to see Marjorie Taylor Greene head of the House. I would love to see Marjorie Taylor Greene third in command of Chief, Chief Executive Officer of the United States of America. Number three in charge. I would love to see Marjorie Taylor Greene, number three in charge. I don't know about you, but I'd like to see more Marjorie Taylor Greens and Lauren Babart, Babart and Ron DeSantis Republicans than to see Liz Cheney Republicans and Dan Crenshaw Republicans and Greg Abbott Republicans, also known as Rhinos. 
The only thing Greg Abbott did good in the past, in this election was he beat fucking that fucking piece of shit. Uh, that fucking dumbass that wanted to run for governor. What the fuck's his name? The one that, yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. I can't think of his fucking name! Blake? No, not Blake. He's a fucking dumbass. I, I can't think of his, I can't think of his fucking name. Beto. Beto O'Rourke. That's his damn name. Fucking piece of shit. But it's looking good. The red wave did kick in. Okay, and it, the red wave kicked in in Michigan. Look at the tabulators. Look at the information from the tabulators. Where are you getting your information? And to all you fake news fuckers, I know you got the these in the comment sections. I see your comments. I might not respond to them, but I see it. You got all these Jen Browns and whatever in my comment section. Well, you just think I'm upset, you know? Oh, you just upset. You lost. I'm you lost. I lost. How many fucking times do I need to come up here and tell you it goes in one ear out the motherfucking other? I gotta tell you over and over and over. Look at the goddamn tabulators. Okay? Get the information from the tabulators. Okay? I got people that are sending me information. Guess what? They've been working election. Guess what? They were, they got it from the tabulators. From the counties. Don't trust the mainstream news. We just well, you just upset you lost, we did Rob. You just upset you lost that the GOP lost. Did you see when we got 2.4 million votes? Where are you getting your fucking information? Well, the mainstream media said this, and CNN said this. Look at the fucking tabulators. Your mother, from the fucking counties, they post information. Ah, you can't get through these fucking Democrats. They're stupid. But I am glorified about one election. Uh, I am glorified about one race. And it's a local race. Now, some of you know I'm a sworn in and elected precinct delegate in Shiawassee County, Michigan. Well, there's some Democrats in Shiawassee, in my home county of Shiawassee County, Michigan, that don't like me. Well, there's a certain somebody running for state rep in this area. This motherfucking little piece of shit snake in the grass cocksucker ratted on me to the Shiawassee County Democrats. Okay. Mark Zaccardi, or whatever the fuck his name. He lost his election. When I found out he lost his election to Brian McGoal, my dick got hard. I am glad. I am fucking happy that that motherfucker lost his election. I hate that motherfucker. He went behind my back and ratted me to the Shiawassee County Democrats about me. Piece of shit. I'm actually glorified that Mark Zaccardi lost his election. This little fucking butt buddy who ran for state senate and won, sadly, in District 28, Sam Singh. This stupid motherfucker, Sam Singh. This, this I'm going to tell you how radical Sam Singh is. This fucking piece of shit. Okay? This guy is so fucking radical. You know what his response was to the high gas prices? His, high, his response, his ass nine asshole of a response was buy an electric car. Fuck you, asshole. I'm going to buy a $60,000 piece of shit. The battery costs 8 to 10 grand. They don't get over 100,000 miles. It takes 24 to 48 hours of charge. You can't go on long trips with them. 350 miles, you're done. They're, they're only good for local. You see what they're doing with the electric cars? They want to keep us local. They want to keep us all us in one little area. 
That's why they're, they're hyping up the gas prices, want us to buy electric. That's Sam Singh's response to the high gas prices. Fuck you, asshole. Hey, Sam Singh, fuck you, asshole. I'll say it again. Hey, Jen Brown, I know you fucking troll my channel. Make sure the Democrats of Shiawassee County, Mark Sakati, Sam Singh, see this. Sam Singh, fuck you, asshole. I'll say it. I don't give a shit anymore. Piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. You fucking piece of shit. I'm going to talk some fucking shit. I'm not letting back anymore. I'm done with this fraud shit. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. What are you motherfuckers going to do? There was a rally today at the state capitol. I didn't go. It was a bunch of people screaming at a building for two hours. Are you going to get out of Bullhorn and blow your fucking batteries out and scream at a fucking building for two hours? Is that all you're going to do? Or are you going to get out there and fucking do something? I'm ready to go. I want to fucking do something. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of these damn... I'm sick of it. They can't... The, the Democrats are the biggest fucking losers on the planet. They're like these... They're, they're like a five-year-old. They gotta have it their way. They gotta have it their way. They gotta have it their way. And if they're not gonna get their way, they're gonna fraud their way. If they can't, they can't get the result they want, they're going to cry like a little bitch. And they're going to try to pull every little fucking tack that they can. Because they can't accept the results. They can't accept the results. I accept the results of some of these races. Because I went to the fucking tabulators from the counties. I didn't like the outcome of the Elisa Slock and Tom Barrett race. I didn't like the outcome of the of the Hillary Schultz versus John Gibbs race. But I'll accept it because that's what came from the tabulator. Guess what also came from the tabulator? Dixon ahead. Caramel ahead. Proposal 3 failed. Matt DiPerno ahead. That came from the fucking tabulators from the counties. That didn't come from the fucking, well, Fox News said this, and Channel 4 WDRV said this. <laughs> you know what I did with my TV years ago? I threw it out the fucking window. I haven't watched TV in years. I haven't. It's been like fucking 10 years since I watched TV. I, I, I don't know. I was at work today. Well, not today, a few days ago. And then one guy says to me, Hey, did you see that show? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? You, know, you don't know what the hell that show... I forgot the name of the show we mentioned. Everybody knows that show. Well, guess what? I don't. I haven't watched TV in 10 years. I watch YouTube. I refuse to watch TV and be indoctrinated by that shit. I refuse it. I don't want to talk to the mainstream media. They try to get interviews with me at the rally sometimes. I tell them to fuck off. I want nothing to do with that shit. So I got a couple of buddies in Michigan getting some plans going. I don't know how well it's going to go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's too early to tell. But I'm saying we'll see how this plays out. If the forensic audits come in and, you know, that ain't that 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 if we learn something from this election okay and I think the Democrats have learned something as well one thing is for sure this is not a repeat of 2020 I mean it kind of is a repeat of 2020 however I'm looking at these races Still, they haven't been called. The Democrats are struggling. They're struggling right now. They are struggling to get some of these Senate seats. They are struggling to flip some of these House seats. And I haven't seen Democrats struggle like this 
since probably 2016. Probably 2014. They, they've been, it's been years since I've seen Democrats struggle this hard. In 2020, they aced it out fraud. Boom. You know? Don't question it. Whatever. But now, it, it, it's not... It kind of is a repeat of 2020, but they're not as skilled about it. They're, 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 they're being careful. They're being more careful. They try to sneak one in. You know what I'm saying? The red wave came. The red wave did come. And we're going to see how this plays out. Arizona, right now, is... They're doing their thing. Michigan ain't doing shit. Sitting on their fat fucking asses. I hate this fucking state. I lived in Arizona for about 10 years. So I know Arizona politics. And I will say one thing about Arizona. Arizona doesn't fuck around. Okay. I, I will say that. They got a great governor. The Patriots down in Arizona, they're different than the Patriots in Michigan. The Patriots in Arizona do things. Now, I'm not saying the Patriots in Michigan don't do things. I'm not saying that. But there's a lot of people that don't do things here. And nothing gets fucking done. Arizona, they do shit. And they get shit done. And you see what's happening right now? Now they're struggling with this Katie Haas versus Carrie Lake. Shit's getting done. And now, Mark Kelly versus Blake Masters hasn't been called yet. The Senate race is down to three seats. Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia. If they're going to run off Georgia, they have to pull that fast one, the runoff. December 2nd, December 3rd, whatever the hell that day is. They had to pull that fast one. Well, we don't like the results. We're going to run off. They can't accept the fucking results. They can't accept the defeat. They can't. They don't want defeat. They want everybody under their global control. That's what they want. Okay? They, they don't like to play by the rules. They don't like to play nice. They don't... They're sore fucking losers. And if we learned anything from this election, we learned that the Democrats are sore fucking losers. Because if they weren't, they wouldn't have to do this. They wouldn't have to pull a Georgia fucking runoff. But that's what they're doing. They got a Georgia runoff December 3rd between Ralph Warnock and Hershey Walker. What's the matter? You're afraid Hershey Walker's going to win? And he probably is. Guess what? It's not going to enough for get, It's not going to be enough to get, even if he does lose, it's not going to be enough to get that 52 seats in the Senate you want to get the assault weapons ban bill passed. Red wave, motherfucker. And guess what? We're taking back the house. And we're going to fire Nancy Pelosi. And that's going to become a reality. And the Democrats can't take it. We're going to send her fucking bitch ass back to San Francisco. And that, that's why they haven't called the fucking house race yet. It's sitting right now. GOP 207. Uh, Dems 186, I believe. Maybe it's 184. Whatever. They can't accept it. Accept it. It's coming. Nancy Pelosi is done. And I'll be glad to pack that fucking cunt's bags back to California. I'll send that fucking bitch a fucking U-Haul truck and shove it up her ass. I do it fucking personally. Hammer.
or attack my ass. You're not gonna make me believe that bullshit. Hammer your way back to California. You're done. I'm in a hype mood right now. We're done with this shit. The red wave did come. We're not going to have a repeat of 2020. We're taking it. Whether you like it or not. That's that. Raging Rob. I'm out. Arrgh!